this up. Today we're going to talk about being fat. So before I started my prep, uh, I was eating shit probably like once, like once, twice a week. But then as my prep started getting closer, I started eating shit every other day, which is really bad. And I've noticed during that time, I noticed some like really bad changes in my body. I don't know, you're thinking, hey Patrick, why don't you just eat reasonably and consistently like you usually do? Well, because I started my prep, then worst case scenario, I have to diet for the whole year this year. So I'm like, let me eat all the shit that I need to eat now because I won't be able to eat it for a very long time. And so I just kind of forced myself to eat stuff. So, I got my bachelor's in kinesiology and I remember I had a, I took a class. It, for some reason this stuck with me, it was about obesity. And I, I've tried to find this online, I couldn't find it. Uh, but I remember seeing a slide and I remember it saying that obes obesity is essentially, in the clinical condition is total body inflammation. And I was like, huh, that's interesting at the time. And now that I was being a fat, I get it. I get it, cause it, it literally, my, like I had complete total inflammation in my body the whole time. It was really bad. Yeah, so it's funny cause I was, like back in December, I was dieting to the brink of death. And then like a month ago, I was eating to the brink of death. So it was just, I'm just a guy of extremes, I, I, I guess. So here's the notes that I had. So after every meal, I would have low blood sugar. If you've never had low blood sugar, it sucks. You get like kind of a headache, kind of a dizziness, sometimes nausea, you get like hot, but also you, you're sweaty, like you're clammy, so you're like hot and cold at the same time. You get really fatigued. And the only way to combat that is to eat more sugar. So I would eat a shit ton of processed food and sugar. And so then my body would dip, would spike and then dip. And to get out of the dip, I'd have to eat more Usually people eat like a spoonful of honey and it gets them out of it pretty quickly. So I have to eat more shit to combat the amount of shit that I ate. Isn't that funny? I was, I was bloated the whole time. I was so bloated all the time that it actually affected my workouts. Like I couldn't squat as well because my stomach would get in the way. I couldn't do certain shit like row well because my stomach would get in the way. It was like I was turning into a ninja turtle. You just can't, uh, uh, you know what I mean? All right, so there's a whole slew of things that just I've noticed changed with me. I would pretty much feel like shit all day. Just a low, low cognitive state, just exhausted. I would be exhausted after meals also just because I guess my body just takes so much more energy to process all this shit. I don't usually eat. And the, really the only time I felt good is in the act of eating. I wouldn't feel good before eating or after. Just in the act of eating, I'd, you get in this like fat boy zone. You're like, ooh. But then afterwards, you're just like, ah, fuck myself. <laughs> Pretty much, obviously, I was always short of breath. Especially after meals. It'd feel like I ran a mile, but I didn't and I'd have like an elevated heart rate. I did not, I did not document this, but there was one point where I had so much, I mean also water retention, I had so much water retention that I would squeeze, I could feel it like just in my fingers, in my joints. I remember doing this, I just squeeze my face here and the vein in my head would pop because I was just like squeezing the fluid it was bad, dude. I was pretty much, my, my lifts got worse. Can you believe that? I was eating way more calories, but my lifts got worse. I had lower energy. So I, like, I had to take a bunch of caffeine just to get in the mood to lift. I had just lower strength. I just, it just wasn't moving. And I think that comes back to total body inflammation. My recovery period took even longer so like I know I, I've been training for so long, I kind of know how, how long it takes my body to recover after a, a workout. 
I'd say my recovery time, say if I did legs today, it would take me two days to recover. If I, my recovery time at the time was, instead of two days to recover, it'd be like three to four days. And that's a big difference. That's a 1.5 or two times difference. And you really feel, it's hard, it's hard to explain, but it really feels like there's complete inflammation in your whole body. Because you move and you're just like, ugh. Your, your joints don't feel great. You just have low energy. You have overall water retention. It just, it really feels like if you had inflammation everywhere is the best way I could describe it. And it probably also was affecting my bone density because in the mornings when I would wake up, I have, my mom buys these calcium chewables. I always have one with breakfast. In the morning when I wake up and eat, and I'd bite, bite into this, this gummy, essentially, I would feel weakness in my teeth and jaw. It's just like, just what, like, what the fuck? So that was during, so that was in fat mode, right? This turned into like, me just being a fat turned into like a social experiment for myself. So that was fat mode. And then the period after, it wasn't too bad initially, because I was just so sick of eating stuff. But probably like, three, four, five days after, you get like sugar, sugar and fat withdrawals. You get, your body's just acclimated to eating shit and feeling good only when you eat shit. There's, there's withdrawals from that. And the same stuff, I mean, the, the water retention was pretty much gone by then, but you would get, I mean, I what I noticed, I'd have weakness, uh, low blood sugar after meals, I pretty much have a headache consistently from when I wake up till I go to sleep. Eating meals didn't mitigate that. It was pretty much throughout. And I mean, now I'm normal. So yeah, don't be fat, it's terrible. I, I, I mean, I wanna say that I won't do it again, but if say the same thing happens next year where I probably have to diet for the whole year. Uh... So hey, look, buy my shit, because you see my videos. Or maybe you don't, maybe you just like watch the first 10 seconds and you're like, ah, fuck this dude, and click away. Look, here's my email. I do diet plans and stuff. Maybe, maybe not for long. This, this is, eh, this, eh. it's a lot of work and it's just, eh. Also my social media and stuff. Um, you saw that last episode where I'm getting ready to become a pro, hopefully. So you can follow that. Okay, I'm really tired. I'll see you next week.